what you are. Bro. What you, what you do I am and I'm saying you're talking rubbish. Yeah. Atheism. Absolute rubbish. It's got nothing to do with morality. No, no. I agree. It's got nothing, nothing to do with chemistry. No. It's got it, can, it cannot justify it. No, because it always is an answer to one specific question. Do you question. believe in God? No. It's like saying, for instance, what can biology teach us about astrophysics? Nothing. Because it's not, it, they're completely different questions. Atheism is whether there's God or not. Right? Do I believe That's in my mind? Sure. Yeah. No. Sure. It, it's, Do you, so it's, 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 it's beyond the purview of exactly. atheism. To, to have a view on anything. It does not, because I'm an atheist, it doesn't have a view on a tree. That would be humanist or evolutionary or whatever. That would not be, that would have nothing to do with atheists. Nothing. Okay, that so tree would still be every single thing in my life. So you is not involved whether it is God or not. It's got nothing to do with my atheism. If, but, okay, so, 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 so it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any stretches. Well sure, I, I heard you the first time. Nice so, do you believe that belief have implications? Yes. Okay, so I'm just asking you a pure question here. Yeah. The consensus amongst evolutionary psychologists. Uh, you don't know oh, no, them all. Just, just, you yeah, don't, don't know them all. I, I haven't said anything yet. You, you, don't don't know, you can't speak for a group no. of people you do no, not what, know. What are you calling okay, sure. If I'm, if I'm, so so it, so, so, some no, 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 I'm going to say a consensus. But yeah, it's not true. I'd say there's no such thing no as evolution thing. There is psychologists, but anyway. No such thing. Okay, I agree yeah. with you there because for yeah. other reasons. Yeah. But evolutionary psychology, as a general field, <laughs> what is evolutionary, um, what is evolutionary psychology? to psychology? I mean, okay, it doesn't exist. Sir, no, 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 okay, about. look, what it does is this: it looks at the evolution of our psychology, of our morals, of that? our belief How systems. Can you do that? But they do that. It's a well, field. That's philosophical. Yes, that's that's not, that's it's, it's, it's science. Not that, that, that would just be the history and philosophy of, exactly. of, of, no, of philosophy of psychology. No, that would not. No, no, that would not be the evolution. Because you add in the evolutionary thing, that is adding an word. extra concept where you can chuck in religion and you can chuck in views and you can chuck in everything else. Basically, you are you are talking the history of psychology. You are not talking. The, okay, I, it does evolve <laughs> in a certain way, but what you're using, you're using the word evolution in a as and point. trying to sort of, in a strange way, to go. Oh well, if we've got evolution in the whole so, business, then it's got to be anti-God or whatever. So no, no, I'm not. I'm your, evolution your, is history. to do with That's all. If you just said the history of psychology, or the history of morality, or the history of whatever, fine. But if you go the evolution, you're then, you're then putting in this extra thing that doesn't exist in evolution, which is the fact that evolution is worth this, this idea that evolution is working towards a point or a goal, which it isn't. I agree. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, but I, I just think that's your wording. You're trying to obfuscate. No, but. First, fir firstly, le let me break down each step because I don't want to. Maybe if I say two, three things, you'll challenge each one. Firstly, there is such a field as evolutionary psychology. Yeah, but I don't know what it means. Oh, well, one at a time. So he doesn't know what it means. The, the field exists, yes or no? I doubt it. Tell us. Okay, okay, it does. You can you can look it up. There's books in it. Okay. What does it mean? Tell okay. us. Tell us. Tell us. What does it mean? I hope you don't hit me with a stick. Um, what it basically means is this. It means when psychologists are trying to look at the evolution of our brain and the way that we look and the way that we actually behave and why we actually behave in this particular way. And the most predominant view in evolutionary psychology is the view of the selfish gene, the famous Richard Dawkins view, which is that we exist and all of our actions fundamentally is about survival of our genes. Or a maladap maladaptation of that. Yeah. 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 Not in the no, organism, no, the genes, no. right? This is a so, so, for example, a something like rape would be explained by evolutionary psychologists as a survival mechanism for evolutionary losers. No, no, no. That's no. the field I'm speaking about. You can't equate what people do, uh, like the average person, with what is really going on. The evolutionary psychology, as you right? put it to me. Do you get my point? Is an absurdity. Yes, but we're beyond the biology. Well, of, the um, biology is so complex in the brain. I mean, people they don't even understand this. it yet. And I mean, still not understood. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's one of those slightly sort of dodgy bits of science where Very there's nothing dodgy. proved on either on either side because you know you're, you're basically saying because 
men are big, big and hairy. We have dominance over women, or whatever. You know, because we're we're the more powerful ones. That's now slightly out the window. I mean, since women have been able to get guns, you know, they they're, they're more their ability to be more equal is sort of more. In, yeah, in this country, though, they are legally. Equal. No, but why am I actually speaking about? I I agree with you totally. You can't. It's a very dodgy. No, sir. I agree with you totally. You can't get a value from a fact, right? You can't get a value from a fact. So what I mean is, just because the supposed theory says that we evolved in this way, doesn't doesn't make us right or wrong. It's hypothesis, not theory. We agree there, right? Right. But what I'm actually speaking about is something slightly different. I'm not speaking about can we get values from facts. What I'm speaking about is this: according to evolutionary psychologists. Right and wrong is an illusion to help you survive. That's all it is. It's an illusion for everybody. It's an illusion for everybody. We're all equal. No, that is the view. No, the, the point yeah, is, well, there are I mean, you know, rights and rights and wrongs. I agree they're wrong. I agree. Yeah. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, for the way that we are taught today, the idea of evolutionary humanism. Who's we? As Who's people. Nobody's taught, taught evolutionary, evolutionary like humanism. humanism. Who's we? Sorry? Nobody's taught Okay, are we not taught humanism? No, no, no. Humanism, but not this evolutionary no, thing. That's but, but, the, but the thing is, look, we're problem. going, we've got it wrong. We started off with a whole bunch of bloody religions who had an idea on them. Nobody could get anything correct. That's so, not true. Yeah, okay. Well, that's your point of view. But if you had the, you say, you've got a Christian perspective, you've got a sort of um, Hawaiian sort of a perspective, you've got all these other perspectives, you're in there. The actual how we got here is not important. It's what we do now. This is why this sort of modern sort of humanism sure, started. But, but the idea of going, forget where you come from, <laughs> let's just work out a bunch of rules that will suit everybody so you don't know the rule before you start. So your game, the game of life, is started where you have a have a rule. You don't know which cards you're going to pick up. You don't know whether you're going to be disabled. You don't know whether you're going to be poor. You don't know whether you're going to be rich. You don't know whether you're going to be gay. So you make the rules. You don't know whether you're going to be a paedophile. You, so you have a, a bunch of cards. And everyone's got a good degree before the beginning of the game. Yeah, before the beginning of the game. Where are you? Should we make a rule against somebody being a paedophile? And the answer is yes. Or at least the actions of a paedophile, rather than not. They can't do, they can't do what's in your head. And you don't know if somebody's going to be gay or not. You know, should we make a rule? Well, no, you might pick that card. You know, are they causing any trouble to anyone else? No. Let's but you would have to make a rule because of what's it. Yeah, you're, you're, you have to make a rule because of what's it. Yes, you're, you're, you're taking away morality. You're just doing divine command. All I'm saying is, everything that you've said so far, I don't disagree with. But it's all subjective. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's all I'm saying. No, no. There is no so is, no, no. It's, I don't agree with that part. I, no, no, I don't agree with that part. Because when somebody comes along and says, for example, and let me just define one issue where we disagreed about. When I was mentioning evolutionary humanism, I was talking about a man called Julian Huxley, who was a famous evolutionary biologist, and he was a philosopher as well. Sort of. Yeah. And what he used, what he used to do is he used to promote this idea of evolutionary humanism, right? Yeah, but his story, not mine. Sure, sure. So, so, we, so, so but, but he wrote a book called Religion Without Revelation, and in this book, what he basically said is. We atheists need to evangelize the world of a new religion of evolutionary humanism. Yeah, well, in which case it was him, but not yeah, anybody else. Him, but well, I mean, you, you cannot, we sort of agree yes, then. You, we don't, I don't agree. How do you use that word? But yeah, yeah we yeah, agree with that. I don't think evangelizing anybody is a good idea. You can't idea. just jump down on one guy saying one thing and at one point. And he's in the 19th century. And, yeah, I mean, I didn't sort it. I mean, I'm okay, okay. I could get you on every single oh, philosopher who's ever six. spoken, and they all disagree with each other. If I pull one of them out, one religious guy out, I mean, um, Seven cameras. Oh, seven God, cameras I mean, I, on Chicken Man. I, 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 was, I, was, I was brought up as a Catholic years ago. Young, I mean, Young was religious. Okay, okay but sir, yeah, yeah. But sir one, one thing I want to say, this was not a random man. Julian Huxley was the... Uh, it never took off. It was an idea. No, it did. It did take off. It didn't take off. It didn't take off. It did actually take off. No, it didn't. Okay, okay. I love your stick, but let me tell you why it did take off. It didn't. Okay. It didn't make money. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Let me let me explain why. 
he was. I know the, what he was. I've read his book. Yeah, yeah. He was the first president of UNESCO. So? The United Nations Scientific, Cultural, and Educational Organization, which is like the headmasters of the world. No, no, right? no, no, and what he did no, no, is no, no, no. he there used that platform no, to propagate no, no. So this, this is the atheism no. and propagate evolutionary humanism. So, so he was a very big figure. And the fact no, that a lot of us in the world today, we believe in humanism, it did it's take off, which is why we're all that's talking about it. That this, this, this is not important. This is the problem. It is, it is. You are used <laughs> to being, some water. To, uh, to, to um, things coming from authority. The turn to is an authority, therefore we should do it. Dawkins, for instance, is an authority on on on, on uh, the glorious glories of, uh, of, of evolution. Or what have you. But as soon as he gets on to Brexit, he's a complete bloody nutter. So you got we do not. There is no concept which is above the man who gave it. Go, 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 no, I agree. That's because you're a mathematician. Doesn't mean you know anything about art. Yeah. And they ask you about art because you're a mathematician. Just because, just because uh, some of the greatest. Uh, things in the world were invented by really pretty awful characters. It doesn't mean, you know, they're dead, it doesn't matter. We move on. The fact that, you know, sort of um, Adolf Hitler built rather a good car, you know, doesn't make Adolf Hitler a nice guy. Or he's a vegetarian too. And he was a vegetarian, he loved his mum. Well, like ca- and he was Catholic. And and it doesn't, doesn't make vegans bad. Yeah, it doesn't make anybody bad. else bad. It's just the one guy. Uh, sure, you, I agree, but, but you're, 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 don't take you're so used in your that we, we don't accept these authorities you're saying. Yeah. No, that, I agree with you there, but, but ma- the, ma- the majority of the schooling system in this country, no, 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 it, it teaches a type of humanism. No, it doesn't. No, it, it does. Doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Well, no, no, it's been a while since we were at school. C of E schools are C of E schools. Catholic schools are Catholic. You have an assembly in the morning that's a religious one, and I had to get special permission to say out. Okay, do you know what? Let me prove it to you. Oh, you won't prove it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me let me prove it to you. What are you trying to prove? Ca- ca- I'm trying to prove about humanism being taught at schools no, it's not. as a religion. No, no, no. no you cannot see humanism as a religion. You can't because there's nobody qualified. But, I mean, in my children's okay. school, so. I teach humanism as a, um, sure. in, as a belief system. Yes, but not, not as a religion. You, it's not religion. It's not a religion. No, I mean, it is, it's by definition, but not a religion. Okay. It's a belief system. Sure. It's a belief system. It is, it, this is a moral, a, it is a moral system and a belief system, but it sure. is not a religion. Sure. Don't have a moral sure. System. Now, let, let, me, let, let me just explain. Let me just explain how humanism is being primed into school children. But it's not. It's not humanism. Sure. Be a lot of sure. Things, but it's let me not let me just, let me just, let me just give you the evidence. The humanist society would not say you're telling the truth. Actually, they would. They wouldn't say it's been told in every. They would, and I'll tell you why. The humanist society has even the British Humanist Association. They've been lobbying the government to teach evolution at a younger age. Evolution is not humanism. I know, but but I'm. I I agree. I agree. I agree. But we're speaking about evolutionary humanism. Now, yeah, no, you're talking about evolution. Now, what, uh, what I'm going to read out to you, what I'm going to read out to you is this: yeah. I teach uh, mass tuition, and I was teaching my cousin the other day. There's an AQA paper for 2017 or 2016 yeah. of math ma- of biology, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, what it basically does is this: it teaches about Darwin's theory, not an issue, right? But then it goes into sociological issues, right? About priming people against religion. So here's one of the questions. In the 1870s, cartoons of Darwin looking like a monkey yeah. were published in yeah. magazines. Yeah. The yeah. cartoons were published after Darwin wrote a book about the theory of evolution. Yes. Suggest one one reason why cartoons of Darwin looking like a monkey were drawn. I'll tell you what. Right? No, no, sir. No, no, sir, one second. This is a sociological conditioning no, no, which they're no, making no, no, the kids no, 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 no. think that no, only no, only there was no, a religious no, 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 religious o- religious Have opposition. Yes. But not no, sorry, sorry. Men and men and I sir, descended from sir, the same common ancestor. Sir, and what they were sir, let me let me just complete this. That's they're priming doing. kids. To, look, sir, let me just complete this no, point. Yeah, sir, I didn't complete yeah, my point. They, they are priming kids to believe that uh, religious opposition to Darwin is why 
Darwin was opposed. Yes. But yes. this yes. is historically it's incorrect. No, it's, it's not. Let, let me explain why. Let me explain no, why. No, it's Reli not sir, sir, one second. Okay. Religions did oppose him. That's so true. But some of the people who opposed him were right. credible scientists, yes. including uh, including Alfred Russell Wallace, who was the co-founder of with Darwin of the theory of natural selection, and he was an atheist, and he disagreed with Darwin afterwards, and he did not disagree on religious grounds, he disagreed on scientific grounds, and likewise, likewise, so, so one second, likewise a whole host of... I read the whole debate. So, so let me just complete my point. The whole debate is this. Richard said, he said, man and I could just come from the same common ancestor. They're saying, this is not so, so we're all apes then. Nah, 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 nah. That's what they were doing to Darwin. Exactly what they were doing. Sir, but and he didn't say, he didn't say that. Sir, 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 and he didn't say that, I agree with you. But religions were not the only people opposing his theory in the beginning. No, no. no. Okay, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me give you, let me give you some evidence. I've read the original okay. Victorian stuff. I know what they say. I, I know. There's only one evidence I'm going to give you. Peter Bowler is a philosopher, is a uh, historian of biology. He's the most prominent historian of biology. Okay, okay. But here's what he says. He's written a book called The Eclipse of Darwinism. And what he says is that at the beginning of the 20th century, Darwin's theory was being challenged by other non-Darwinian evolutionary I theories, would, would yes. right? Yes. 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 yes, like for example, Lamarxism before Darwin, yeah. orthogenetic evolution, and uh, uh, mutation-driven evolution, uh, hopeful monsters, right? So what they what they're teaching in this paper is incorrect. No, 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 no. Because they're no, prime. No, 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 look, look. No, here's why. No, no. They're saying religion opposed it for this reason, which they did. I love your energy, absolutely, by the way. Absolutely correct. What the whole, the whole. Who point. cares? A hundred years no. later. Who cares? We anyway? all agree he was right in general. In general, he was. Do, you, right. do they believe he's, that now? What? Do they believe that now? He's right. Eighteen, ninety percent. Evolution. Yes. Yes. But I mean, the natural it's selection is. It's a little bit more complicated. It's more complicated. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Now, the Royal Society is the oldest society in the world, the oldest science society. Yeah, in 2016, biologists from across the world came, came together. Biologists were, who don't believe in God, don't believe in uh, religion, anything like that. And the main question they were discussing in the Royal Society in 2016 is, was Darwin right in his main mechanism of natural selection? So to this day, to this day, we have differences in amongst biologists about his theory, but the way it's taught at AQA level, at GCSE level, and at university yeah, level is, is above, true. It's why it's above fact. that level you have yeah. to discuss. Yeah. Why, why, why above Yeah, that because level? I mean, all that stuff is right. I mean, I mean basically, he's 90% right. There are a few exceptions. Don't offer drinks to other people. They might have sodas, and I can give it to you from the bottom. I hope you don't. <laughs> You look like you can fight off hypertitis though, or any other disease. You've got some beans. Beans, beans. Looks as if you fought it a lot. Not those type of beans. But the problem with Darwin is, you know, he, he didn't have a lot to work on. You know, the amount of people and biologists who've gone around the world, you can count on one half. I mean, you know. So I'll tell you what the problem is. So, so and then now we've found out more and more and more, we've had the DNA and what have you. I mean, if you look at the phylogenic tree, that is now, which is the evolution of man, which goes through about 115 different things from the eukaryota, which are the, the first cells, yeah, yeah. all the way down to modern um, well, pro prokaryotes came before that. Yeah, but yeah, well, let's, 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 right, okay, 116 levels, levels of where we split off from other animals and everything else. And it's pretty much accepted by all sure. evolution. Sure, it's accepted by 99% of evolutionary biologists, right? No, that no, is. No, 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 the tree is. But the process, it is the process sure. is slightly different. Sure, split. But, when, but, but when it says accepted, does it mean they believe it to be absolutely no, true? No, it's hypothesis. Good. Uh, no, no, what Good. is it? I'll tell you. And it's a theory which can be challenged by data. It is yeah. And it's based on assumptions. Look, and yes. it's based on a problematic framework. But nobody, nobody's saying it's wrong. What they're saying well, some, is some it's are. not complete. No, 
Yeah, it's not really. I mean, I mean, only Ken Ham and one or two others. Look, uh, people do you, believe like, in Noah's Ark. I mean, you know, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about creation or intelligent design. I'm speaking about okay. The third way of evolution is a project run by non-religious biologists, and what they do is they challenge Darwin's theory using non-Darwinian evolutionary paradigms. But they still don't believe in God or the intelligence or anything like that. The problem with Darwin, if you had just... I wish I had your energy. The, 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 the natural selection, it is very, very, very slow. I agree. But the, the, the evolution process in brains has been very, very, very fast. So there's something else 